You are now into film club. I see, Nate. You're fond of me, lobster. Molly, you in danger, girl. Your ass looks like about 150 pounds of juke bubble gum piled, you know that? Say it, sir! I don't believe you people. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Huh? Now answer my question. Were you rushing or were you dragging? I love it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Film Co. My name is Phoenix Cloudon, and we got a very exciting episode for you guys today. Uh, Rejoined once again by our man, Brandon. Brandon, what's going on, sir? Man, Phoenix, I am doing good. It is good to be back. Uh, Officially set up in the new place. Uh, Contrary to the other day when I was like, yeah, I'm still unpacking everything. Still am unpacking everything, but (laughs) I'm about 80% of the way, which is good. But yeah, it's good to be back. It is good to be talking a, another. Oh no, we haven't talked any John Wick films yet. Uh, not on the show, no. Yeah, yeah. So this is our first one. Oh, this should be fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, Phoenix? I'm awesome, and uh, we have a very special guest for the first time on our show. Uh, we we constantly bring up the cinema chat in this uh on this podcast, so we had to have someone who was a part of the cinema chat. And uh, I'm going to give him a, a big uh, shout out, uh, especially because he won our Oscar pool in the cinema chat <laughs> uh, <laughs> by predicting the everything everywhere sweet. So deservingly. So welcome, <laughs> Jeremy. The Lord, Jeremy, how are you, sir? I'm doing well, man. Great to be here. Uh, I love talking about movies and, and John Wick Chapter 4. Good movie to start with. Um, but... I'm definitely a everywhere all at once uh, stand. So <laughs> <laughs> I defend it to this day. <laughs> yeah. So um, for those who are listening, um, Jeremy is one of the longest friends I've ever had. He, uh, I've known him for about 15 or 16 years now, which is insane. Oh, crazy. Th- he's just insane to think about. But yeah, uh, Jeremy's a great friend. Happy to have him on. Thanks, man. Me too, and and definitely to talk about this movie because oh uh, oh, there's so much to talk about. <laughs> like, so uh, before we get into the nitty gritty and everything, let's talk non spoiler. Uh, John Wick, just your expectations going in. What were you expecting from this movie, and did it give you what you were expecting, Brandon? I'm just gonna say this now: best action film I've ever seen. Like that, this blew me away man like just from the set pieces the production design the cinematography the camera work oh my god dude the stunt work holy jesus man what a film um but yeah no uh, my expectations going into this i i actually had high hopes just based off seeing the letterbox not letterbox the round tomato scores Mm -hmm. so i was like okay i'm in for something good so I'm like, I knew I was going to, I knew my expectations would get smashed anyways. So I'm like, cool, let me just go in and have a fun time. <laughs> oh my God, this film did not fail to deliver. Did not. It was, you know, <clears throat> thinking back all Brandon said, I mean, if we talk about strictly about like an action movie and this is probably the best made, like artistically made action movie, just from stunt work to like, you know, everything that comes into a movie and everything that comes into an action movie, this movie delivered. And I came into this movie thinking it was going to do that, just based off of Rotten Tomatoes as well. And it did not disappoint. One of the few movies that I came in and was like, this is going to be like peak, and it was peak. Yeah. Uh, I went into this kind of tempered expectations because everybody had said that it was amazing. And I was like, it's like okay, let me let me bring it down. Let me just see how I feel about it. You know, I don't want to take anything anybody says into it. Uh, and I was I was like kind of like on edge for most of it. I was like I was I was being I was being extra nitpicky through most of the movie. <laughs> I was like mm, I don't know, mm, I don't see what they see. I'm like ah, this is trash. I'm like like just trying to be extra nitpicky, and then a particular scene happens. 
And I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna stop being nitpicky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, what you're talking about? <laughs> oh, like, a particular scene happens, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this 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 is what you want from a John Wick <laughs> film, and it oh. I think okay. I know what scene you're talking about. It felt very video game feel. And it was awesome. Okay. <laughs> like, and I was just I was just like, you know what? I'm a, I'm gonna stop being nitpicky right at this moment. This is this is everything I wanted uh in this movie. Uh so yeah, I I'm with you guys. I mean, it delivered on everything that it is, and I'm just I'm happy, especially with where it ends uh and uh we'll we'll talk about that in a minute but that that definitely upped my appreciation of the movie as well <laughs> yeah so, man yeah. so like still not diving into spoilers i would just like to talk about the performances okay we had uh we had i need to pull the cast let's give me one yeah, second i did too bro freaking donnie bro donnie yeah donnie yeah so killed it Oh my God. Like, look, I've seen Donnie Yen in like most of his movies. Uh obviously I didn't even know he was in the Star Wars franchise, but now I really want to see it just because oh, yeah. I know he's in it. But you know what's I've... funny? You know what's funny is in Star Wars, he also plays a blind man. <laughs> That's, That's nice. Funny. Like, I've seen him, I've seen all the uh It Man movies. I've seen um uh Hero, which he was also in fantastic actor even greater like martial artsman um this movie also had my boy Hiroyuki Sanada in it who's amazing like and so like in terms of the fight choreography man <laughs> oh he like, was in bullet train yeah Hiroyuki was, like, was he was in bullet train yeah um what is, oh wow I forgot. yeah I'm like they couldn't have got two better like fighters to 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 be in this movie and they also got scott atkins i don't know if y'all recognized scott atkins he played um zikila <laughs> the, the guy with the gold teeth the, the guy in the fat suit with the uh-huh. okay, okay that was scott atkins uh so like they got like some awesome martial arts people in this movie to just deliver i mean the john wick franchise alone is making the case that there should be a stunt category <laughs> for for the academy because man like you got to honor these guys these guys put in so much good work and i've, I've always wanted them to do a stunt category yeah like th- th- that should definitely become a thing um but this movie in particular should be its first win <laughs> yeah because these guys were awesome but yeah i mean like i say so first first performance is like entering the fold of john wick oh man then you got Clancy Brown, Bill Skarsgård, Donnie Yen. Dude, they all killed it. Like, I completely forgot Clancy Brown was in this movie. I'm like, wait a second. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's Clancy Brown. I'm like, let's go. But, man, Bill Skarsgård, like, I've seen him in other things. Like, was he was in uh, um, Devil All the Time, right? Yes, he was. Okay, he was great in that. Mm-hmm. I completely forgot about his performance in that. So I always keep just thinking of him as Pennywise. I'm like, oh my god, he's killing this role. Right. But man, just every every performance, like yeah, even Hiroyuki Sonata, man, he Dude, was so awesome. good. So good. I, mean, Sa- I, I, apologize yeah, I was gonna if, say Re- I, Rina I, I apologize, Yawa. Yeah, if I I apologize if, if I say that wrong, but this is her first ever movie. Whoa. Like she's done on music videos. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, she's a performer. She was oh, great. Crazy. <laughs> like, talk about stepping up in your debut. Like, she was awesome. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, oh my god. And I gotta point out, uh, Shamir Anderson as a uh, Mister No Mister Nobody. Oh I yeah, loved that character. Oh my god, I love that character. Oh, he was so good. He was so good. Like it's like I, I I particularly loved it because it was somebody who could match John Wick in at least in terms of hand to hand combat mm-hmm. and 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 like you know IQ so like that was it, that was just sick to see and and he's got a couple of standout scenes too that that I want to talk about but yeah, yeah. and we we can't go without 
uh paying our respects to lance raddick man absolutely oh, oh my god like I, wait, wait, I can't talk about it but that was that was crazy <laughs> that was yeah so I, I yeah it was sad because like i didn't expect that to happen like no like just i saw the tweet from like discussing film of variety i'm like no no he's not dead right and then and then more people are reporting that he's passed away. I'm like, what the hell, man? All right. So uh, we were getting to the part where we're tearing the seal of spoilers. So I said, this is your official spoiler warning. Play the sound. I, I like to let it fade a little bit so we don't it doesn't cut us off when the when we're cutting out or cutting in. But yeah, man. Okay, so you were Phoenix, you were talking about you wanted to cover a few things um in the spoiler free section of this review. What were you what were you wanting to do? Well, on top of the acting and the uh the action and the stunts and all of that, I I I wanna point out especially the production design in this in this movie like there's a couple of scenes here where i'm like it's it's so ridiculous like they the world is so grand and mm-hmm. they do a good job of ex- like showing you how grand it is particularly um there's a fight scene at a nightclub i guess it's a nightclub yeah underground oh, nightclub yeah. <laughs> and it's like you know it's narrow crowded you know, runways, and then there's like a waterfall segment, <laughs> and it's just like, I'm like, whoever had the idea of 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 creating this set to have this fight in it, in particularly, I'm like, that that that's just creative to to such a degree. I mean, like you mentioned it being a video game movie, like it felt ripped straight out of a graphic novel for me, yeah. like like particularly Absolutely. like. Yeah, it's just like it was very visually stunning, very visually stunning. And then there's, and then even like not even, <laughs> not even in the same vein. There's a shot of Winston walking through like a corridor. Where oh, it takes of, like thirty years for him to get where he needs to be. Right, right. <laughs> but it's like all of these like big uh, paintings behind him. I'm like, ooh, this is like glorious. Like. <laughs> I'm like, and there was no reason to follow him <laughs> to this except to see those paintings. So I was like, I was like, I would, I would return to this movie just to see that scene because it's just like <laughs> I want to see what paintings these are. Like, yeah, the, the little scenes too, man. Like that one, just like they do such a good job. It's and, insane. Uh, I don't know, like if we will talk about the you know these scene yet, but the um, that bird eye scene. Ooh. Oh my god, dude! That probably, overhead shot is the best action scene that I have ever seen in any movie ever. Saying what that makes hit. it so good to me? You don't know. Is, you don't know what's happening? It's uncut. Yes, it's, it's a one, one just take. uncut shot. Yeah. I'm like, what am I watching right now? <laughs> and it keeps you. It keeps you guessing. You never know what's happening next because you don't see like the action on the other rooms. It's just like. It's insane. And the fire, the use, the fact they use a fire gun. Oh my god! Oh yeah, the incendiary Dude. rounds. Dude. <laughs> Man, I was so like, I was watching that, and all I could think of is like every first person shooter I've ever played. And I'm just <laughs> like, I'm like, that is so dope. It's like no, like you got like a supercharged gun, and you could just you could just instead of like wasting like sixty rounds on somebody, you could just end them with one bullet. <laughs> I know that feeling. I'm like, that, like you want to talk about the most satisfying kills you could ever get. <laughs> you know, so personally for me, um, the reason I like the reason I love that scene so much is like they weren't forced to do it, but I'm glad they changed the scenery. If you get what I mean, like because there are so many action sequences where it's just like normal shot of him kicking ass. No, I, something I love is they don't do the shaky cam. Oh, oh yes, yes. I, but, I hate you, Jim, so I, um, <laughs> like you, you just get one straight shot of yeah. him just on like you just get a great like a base level shot of just him kicking ass, and like we've seen so much of that already. So I'm like, okay, if they hadn't done that shot, it would have been boring to me. I am so glad they decided. Hey, you know what? Let's do this bird's eye shot. Let's do this bird eye over aerial shot, 
and let's roll with it. I'm so glad they did that, man. It was so good. <laughs> that was the scene, man. That scene alone. Oh my gosh, that scene. Man. Like like I said, there was there was a point where I stopped being nitpicky, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it was there because I'm just like, I remember when it happened. Like he was like stuck on the stairs, and he he got the 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 fire gun, and yeah. Yeah. he just like once he's like shot like two people, then you see the camera start to rise up, and I was like, I was literally like, wait, what are they doing? And then like it kept going. I was like. Like you, like this is like one of the only times I was literally sat in the theater with my mouth like wide open, just going like, oh. See, I was like oh, the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I was man. just like, oh man, because I'm like, in terms of like, like all of the John Wick movies have at least one scene where you're like, wow, that was like amazingly cool, but none of them had a scene like that <laughs> where you're like. I don't think any movie had to see it like that. Right. Like where you're just like, I see, I see how you're topping yourself at this point. Mm-hmm. And that that was that was just the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you know something that I love is um like going like I keep I keep I'm gonna keep saying going back to the action here for a second, just because yeah. this film is literally not, like a huge action film. Something that I really, really loved was when they were in Japan mm. in the sword fighting scenes, man. Mm. Oh yeah, yo. Speaking of God. speaking of that, I gotta give a shout out to the sound design on this movie as well. Oh my God, yes. The scene where he takes off his clothes in the ending, and he like yeah. drops the bullet. Oh yeah, you Every hear bullet, all the- I'm like, bro. I never <laughs> like that's because I, I never usually like pay attention to like sound and stuff. But right. I know that like little subtle sound. I'm like, ah, oh, that's sick. Yeah, like that is is really cool. That like. There's like, yeah, you pointed out that that was ridiculous to me. I was like, oh, yeah, of course, because these <laughs> these suits absorb bullets yeah. and they have to they have to be exposed for this fight. And I'm like, yo, but the sound design when they take them off and you hear all of the the, the uh, shells that fall off. I was like, yo, that's 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 something that you have to think of to, mm-hmm. to, to put in the movie. And I dug that. But like just the sound of the guns was was insane the sound of like bones breaking it, like yeah. swords clashing like it was so much like just really impressive detail done in the sound design which was which was crazy it, you know yeah. what's funny rocky is no longer the the, the king of going upstairs <laughs> <laughs> oh, see and that's what's great about this movie right like yes it's an action movie through and through but there's some like subtle moments like of like deep moments and also like funny moments. I mean that that scene when he fell down the stairs was absolutely incredible. He I mean, got all the way down those stairs. Steps. He went all the rocky s steps, and then all of a sudden, what kid? He falls out every single one. And the dude that kicked him was like, "I'm gonna just slide down." <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. I was I died that entire time. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> I was like, yo, when he fell down the second step. And they showed the whole time he fell. He fell down everyone. I was dying. Oh my god. I was like, I was like, yo, why why did y'all do this? Why? <laughs> oh my god. Because I was like, like it was, it was no it was fine when he fell down like the first three sets. I was like, okay, like that was a pretty hard kick. I get it. <laughs> but then, then he knocked him down. He went all the way back to the bottom. <laughs> I was like, I was like, dude, that's so fucking mean. I I'm forgot. Like, Did he make it all the way to the top? Barely. Like I, I forgot. Like I, for, I think he like just made it to the top, right? And then he started falling. Yeah, I think he had like two more, two more stairs to go, and then they just oh they God. knocked him all the way back. Down. <laughs> And I love I love how you get the um, the reaction shot of um, of Skarsgård and uh, of Winston, and they were just they're just all up on there, and they're just sitting there like any minute now. <laughs> and any scene with with, with, uh, with Donnie and John, like the the fact that that Donnie helped out John up the stairs, like that was that was beautiful. 
Man, yeah. such a respectable scene. I forgot they were fighting. I thought I forgot they were gonna have to duel each other. I know it. Like Donnie was like, "Bro, come with me." Man. Yeah, I thought he was just gonna help him out. Just be like, "Come on, go kill, um, go kill Marquis. Mm-hmm. Go kill the Marquis. Boom, you're good." And then they're both taking off their jackets. I'm like, "Shit, I forgot about. They have to fight each other." <laughs> And then the 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 ending like that twist was so good. Oh my god! When uh, when when he was like, "Remember your daughter," he's like, "Fuck off!" <laughs> it's like, "Fuck off!" <laughs> that scene was so funny because like, it's like at this point. You're you're rooting for Donnie Yen's character. Uh, yeah. I'm going to stop calling him Donnie Yen. Kane. <laughs> Kane we're, here we're we go. Currently yeah. rooting for Kane because in the beginning of the film, I was like, nah, nah. I'm like, he's going to be the bad guy. Like, yeah, I'm going to respect him because he's a great character. But man, we're not going to enjoy hating on his character. And then he did. They did. They flipped the script on us. Made us care for this character, which I was happy about. Um, one thing I do want to cover that w- just so we don't forget it, because there's just so much that happened to this movie. Something I really, really loved in this film is was getting to see um, damn it, I completely <laughs> forgot what I was gonna say. I I usually don't do this. I I say that now. I do this a lot. Um, <laughs> there was a moment where, like, other than the aerial view shot, that my jaw dropped. Um, oh, yeah. John saving that guy's dog, the tracker. Yeah. <laughs> that was the deep seat I was talking about, man. Like, it was just so smart of a way to, like, instantly develop a character. Uh huh. Is so dead set on ki- on killing John that, and that's like his main goal. But once he saves the dog, he's like, you know what? Screw it. Fuck the money. Yeah, because like, and that's how the whole thing started. Like, it was a great subtle, like, come like subtle uh, callback to the first movie, uh-huh. where all this was started because you know his dog got got killed. You know what I mean? And so like that scene was just like. Money. It was beautiful. And the it saved him. Was- it saved him from ending up like John too. Yeah. There's exactly. a lot of deep cut layers. He's like, one, you don't kill a dog. Two, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna have you basically owe me one by not wanting to kill me. Mm. I'm gonna save your dog. And three, I understand what it's like have, wanting to have a lot of wanting to have revenge and built up rage against a threat. That kills something you love. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna save you from all of that pain. Yeah, that was, and the fact that that uh that he got to watch the the fight, like he was just drinking a beer. Like I was like, God, that's <laughs> they were both drinking a beer. Him and the dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that that dog was was amazing too. That dog was vicious, bro. He was so good. Like, I think he went after the nuts more than uh, Halle, Halle Berry's dogs <laughs> in the third one. He was like, yeah. <laughs> See, now, I will say, uh, I don't know about you guys, but, like, the third John Wick is is probably my least favorite of the franchise. I just felt Great. it got a little bit too um, – I felt like they they wrote themselves into a corner, and they didn't really have a way out. In, in that film. So like they ended up doing a lot of wonky stuff that, that kind of just took John Wick from where it was to this, this level of level of f- fantasy that I don't think warrant that the franchise warranted. So it was a little bit, it was a little bit too, too unbelievable for me in that movie. Um, yeah. And so like a, a lot of that does happen here but I was happy that they were able to find a way to bring it back down. You know what I'm saying? To to bring it yeah. back to its grounded <clears throat> level. Cause like that was that was sort of like 
the, one of the things I was nitpicky about is like, it's like, okay, we're, we're, we're headed down the same path where we're doing just outrageous, ridiculous, you know, action with mm-hmm. very little story and very little, uh, sense, but it comes back around and it works. And, and I think <clears throat> one of the things that really helps is that it gets, it gets to a point of finality that I think genuinely helps this story. Yeah. Absolutely. Man, like, speaking of finality, man, like I don't want to, I don't want to rush into this, but after he won the duel and like when he shot the marquee, my theater erupted with applause. Like Jeremy can vouch. He was there with me. Dude, nice. yeah. I was so smart. Like I never would have thought about that. Yeah. Like yeah. John literally like took a bullet purposely to freaking kill kill a uh Bill Skarsgard, man. I was like, yeah. dang, that was so and- smart. And like the rule, it worked too because it wasn't just "Hey, I'm gonna shoot you and end this." No, um, John knew what he was doing. He's like, "I'm gonna purposely not fire. Let me take this bullet." And then, since I haven't fired yet, he's like, he's thinking to himself, "Hey, he's gonna go grab the gun from Kane, making him the duelant." Uh-huh. He's and then I love um, Winston's line. He's like, "You, you." He's like, he's like, "You idiot," and something like that. He's like, he still has a loaded gun. And, <laughs> and, and then Wick is like, consequences. That's Ow. <laughs> Bro, that I was, that I was they, uh, amazing. Sorry. <laughs> but I can't believe they actually they actually killed John. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Yeah. I mean, it was I good. do not believe it. <laughs> no, he's dead. He's done. They say it was John five, but like, I think that was just bait. Like, there's not a John Wick five. No, there, there's not a John Wick five. I think there's gonna going, be spinoffs. Yeah, they're doing yeah. the they're doing the ballerina spinoff, which I yeah. I cannot wait to see. Um, but I don't know. I think we're gonna find out not not soon. I imagine we're gonna find out in like ballerina three that <laughs> John is still there. He's what still you think there. they're gonna do some kind of Dark Knight Rises shit? <laughs> like you know, he's he's he just he got away from the life and he wound up in Cabo or something like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's <laughs> like, somewhere we're off, we're off world or or whatever. Like just having a good time drinking the beer. Got it. Got a new dog. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's, he's fine. <laughs> I'd like to mention how high his bounty got. I would say that bounty never got as high as it should have been. <laughs> Dude. No, no, that was because it started. In the second film, it started at seven million, <clears throat> went to fourteen, <clears throat> not enough, up to fifteen, <laughs> and then they jumped it to twenty, up to forty. Man, uh, that that thing should have been at fifty million from the start. Oh, how yeah. like, like the scene God where can't the, die, bro. <laughs> right. The only That's, way he dies is if he sacrifices himself, which he did. He killed right. himself. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, like I would have been the one person calling me and going, until that thing hits fifty, don't call me. Like, like. Cause I'm like you. You asking me to take out one of the coldest assassins this world has ever known for twenty million dollars? <laughs> like, like that's it? Like, no. Like, I'm like, nah. Like, it 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 blows my mind that so many people jumped at that. I'm like, for twenty? No. Like, like, like that. Like you. The only way I do that is if I was dead broke, didn't have any, you know, chance of making anything close to that. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, but no. <laughs> and that uh, that scene where he's fighting, like speaking of bounties and stuff, that scene where he's fighting all the people in France at the at uh, the arch. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! They were playing Frogger while trying to get this guy. He yeah, got ran over like, like three or four <laughs> times himself. Oh my god, dude! That That's scene, the they're, that they're Frogger like, scene was crazy, dude. They're like throwing people in the cars. I'm like that that before before the. Uh, the the bird's eye shot like that was the coolest action scene I've ever seen <laughs> like just random people getting thrown in the cars getting run over getting shot mid air like it was it was just so it was so freaking cool uh 
it was like it was random as hell too like i was just like why are they doing this but it, it worked so much i was like i don't care it, it, it was awesome do y'all notice the callback with the pencil yes, yes. i was like hey let's go <laughs> yeah. that was cool i was like that's that's what i mean like we got we got some some finality here like a lot of things came full circle I, I dug that. I, I even like the tracker's last line where he tells dude before he kills him, he's like, you shot my puppy. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Oh, the dog takes a piss on the guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was probably that was probably the best like use of a piss joke in any movie. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I feel like piss jokes are such a cop out. And that scene at work. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Like. That, uh, I want to like. I, I guess we gotta gotta talk about this, but the final duel to me is also one of my favorite scenes in this movie. Yeah, oh, yeah. it was a fight scene, which like that shocked me the most that it wasn't just a straight up fight scene. Yeah, but I, I kind of like it that it was yeah. it was it was like a a real duel. Yeah. And, oh man, like it was just uh, like the way it played out. Obviously, we talked about how you know it ultimately ended. But I just loved the style of it. Like that was just, that was really cool. And the scene when they're deciding uh, what kind of duel they're going to have. Yeah, that was cool. Going going back to the set design. Like, come on, man! <laughs> like that so scene was the I whoever got the higher number got the yeah they, number. yeah yeah. So like <laughs> you know, it's like you want blades, I want pistols. It's like all right, and you flip a card. Whoever's got the highest number. You get it, and it, that sets the standards for the duel. I was just like, "Yo, that that was that was cool. <laughs> like, like, that was just that was really cool." And, I, need uh, start, I need to start doing that with my with my almost wife um, <laughs> when we're trying to figure out where to go for dinner. Uh, You'll never win that, man. <laughs> <laughs> You'll I, mean, have I don't a, have a number and still lose. What? I don't have anyone, but I at least know that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! But that scene was that scene was beautiful. The just the set design on that. I love how the pigeons flew away as soon as John sat down. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, just the the stylization of all of these shots. Bro, is that's some, where, some of the best ever. Where John Wick like picked what his uh, um grave was gonna say. I was like, oh, oh yeah, loving mm-hmm. loving husband. Yeah, because we we come to find out that Helen's gravestone was loving wife. Loving wife. Yeah. That was, that, so was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, so uh, I do want to talk about real quickly that end credit scene. <laughs> oh my god, man! Okay, dude, dude. Uh, when I tell you, I literally yelled, "No!" Fuck. <laughs> That's what's so great about John Wick. I was like, "Don't kill this man!" <laughs> oh man! He like he just he freaking murdered th- her dad. So I was like, "Dude, hell yeah!" Like you better get your revenge. But then I was like, no, wait, don't, don't do that. <laughs> but in oh, my opinion, I, th- I think Donnie heard that shit. Like, yeah. he, he, oh, 100%. He's he going to be good. Dude, too so smart. She probably went to shank him and he had his cane thing. Wow. Bro, I was so sad, though. Like, he finally had his moment. He got to, he got to meet his daughter. Like, to see his daughter, like, literally for the first time since being free. And I was like, God, oh, don't do this to this man. <laughs> hey, not, not here, not now. <laughs> uh, I, I really want to know because they 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 immediately cut it, and I'm like, I, I don't know if it, like in ballerina or you know any other spinoff if we're gonna see how that ends, but I really want to see how that ends. <laughs> like, like I I'm torn. I I like want Donnie to to you know I keep calling him Donnie. Sorry, Kane. I want Kane to to uh you know hopefully had heard it and and defend himself. But I kind of wanted to get a revenge. I'm like, I'm torn. So I'm like, either outcome I would be happy with. Like, <laughs> bro, can you at least just give the flowers first? That's all I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. man, that's so unfortunate. And we're not gonna have an answer to that for like another six or seven years. <laughs> <laughs> right. I will, oh man, I, like I I am very very excited for Ballerina though. Like, I mean, you got Anna de Armas starring in it. I don't know if I don't. I doubt John Wick is going to be a part of it, but I still would like to see like what story they tell within it. 
Um, uh, yeah, I, I think I, I'm so glad that they're doing a spinoff because it's like this world is so interesting yeah. and so like creative and viable that I, I, I want to see more stories in this world. Yeah. And, and the action sequences are just sick, man. Like, mm. like they're so it's sick. Crazy, man. Like we haven't even mentioned the fact like speaking of like we haven't even speaking of action sequences we haven't even mentioned the very opening of the film with the horses and the horse chase in the oh, desert yeah. oh that was cool. I about that. oh my god that was so beautiful yeah, yeah the, the cinematography uh, in that was great yeah when they're they're right um when he's chasing down the the people in the desert yeah something that i love personally is like you know how like you see that that shot of the sun in the background mm-hmm. <laughs> And that's usually in the end of the film where he's riding off into the sunset. In John Wick's case, he's getting there, but he's not there yet. Mm. Nice. That's true. That's true. Bro, and there's there's so many good shots, bro. Like the shot oh, where they, they showed up to the steps, it had like all the people. Oh yeah. Mm. Like, mm. Oh my god. And the scene of the, the horizon before the fight, the final yeah. fight. Yeah, mm. like I, 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 because as soon as John took his clothes, like that that jacket off, I'm like, man, his plot armor is gone. I was legit scared who was gonna get it. <laughs> like I wasn't scared. I was like mad. I was like, I was like, I was kind of like, I hope John doesn't win this because I'm like, I'm like, I would hate for Kane to be in that pos- position. Like I would just hate that for for. I feel so bad for Kane, bro. Yeah, I was just like, I would, I would have feel so bad for Kane, and then I was like, but I don't want John to die either. So I was like, I was like, I, I don't know how they're gonna do this. So I was That's like, why the way they did it, the way was, they did it, was, yeah, yeah. It, perfect. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> thank you. That was exactly what I wanted. Yeah, they and wrote it perfectly. If, yeah, they found a way for both of them to win. I was like, right. hmm. I was like, yes, that was that was excellent. That was excellent. Um. <laughs> All right, so I uh, think it's that time. I, I I believe so. If there's any any last minute things, please mention it now. Oh, uh, uh, I would like to mention something. What's that? Um, Kane's way of figuring out where people are in a in a tight situation. Those little doorbell was, things. Oh, that doorbell yeah. thing was so sweet. Oh my god, oh, that was smart, so sweet. dude. Yeah. I thought that was so cool. Like, yeah. Oh, that, also, that scene where they were shooting each other. Oh really yeah, fire. that was fire. <laughs> oh, the fight scene in Osaka between John and uh, the the um, I don't know what they're called, but the, those the, those Kevlar guy things. Yeah, like, I mean, he. <laughs> I was not expecting that fight scene to go on as long as it did. But like you got to see so many creative kills in that thing where he's like he stabs a guy in the neck, then shoots him like in the head, then stabs him again. <laughs> oh, and then, <laughs> then he has to shoot him again. Right. In the head. Be- beating dudes with nunchucks through the nunchuck. Oh, the, the way that he just put it on his neck. Yeah. Was like, <laughs> oh, my like, God. Uh, there's nunchuck. Dude, you know what's great is like he, this wasn't a stunt double. He did his own stunts. He did his own stunts. Yeah. I'm like that was that was just awesome. Um <laughs> but yeah. So guys, so, okay, so before we, we before we give our final ratings for John Wick, um how would you guys rank the John Wick films? Um I guess we'll start with Phoenix. All right. Um Dang, why are we start with me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh you know for the longest I had the second one as my favorite, but I actually think this one surpassed it. So I'm going four, two, one, three. It's pretty solid. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll say that's pretty solid. Jeremy? Uh, I'm going to switch the middle two, and I'm going to do uh, four, one, two, three. Where's two? You said four, one, two, three. Yes. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, so for me, I'm going to go four, two, three, one. Um, they're, like, that's not to say one's worse than the other. They're all solid films i think i like john wick 3 just a little bit more than the first one though like the, i think the first one is just I, I mean it's an easy cut and dry movie 
of just like, hey, this guy wants revenge. He's going to get his revenge. You know? I just like the shock value. Like, this is like one of the first movies of his time. It's just like pure. I love I love the mythology that's set up in the first one where it's like it's like you don't understand like this guy is dangerous and mm-hmm. I and I love that the characterization of John Wick from the first so, one. So the, first film is so, the first film is so vastly different from the rest of the series that it's kind of like it's, it's almost feels like a, a separate film like in this universe. <laughs> You know, oh, the thing yeah. for me that uh, I think that really cements John's legacy, just even in the first one, is when um, I forget his name, but when he calls uh, John Leguizamo's character, uh-huh. and he's like, "I heard you struck my son." I did. May I ask why? Well, he uh, stole John Wick's car and uh, killed his dog, and he's just like, "Oh, oh. hangs up." <laughs> that, oh just like cements his legacy right there yeah. just how much like of a threat this guy is yeah that's what that's why that's probably why it's up there for me <laughs> it's just it just <laughs> proves that john wick is the baddest of all badasses <laughs> yeah he's 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 solid man yeah it's like just crazy to think one of if my, in my opinion at least the most consistent of action franchises ever i i'll have to agree there um just uh, this is uh, the reason i love the john wick films so much is that they're able to do full-on action sequences without shaking the camera once yes y'all i absolutely hate shaky cam (laughs) because that's my thing with the last of us right like i love that show but the, the entire the entire show is shaky cam. And I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I hate I hate shaky cam. So much. Yeah, that's something that I love that uh, that WWE moved away from um, yeah. after Vince left. Like I like I know we're going off on a tangent here, but um, whenever somebody would get hit with a chair, they would do like if they, they would show like the they would lift the camera up to show the raise of the chair and then back down. <laughs> uh, I'm and, okay with shaky cam when it's like. This show, like, like, like John, there, there was shaky cam, like when John Wick fell down the stairs and stuff, and he was like all blurry and stuff. Like, well, I mean, amazing. to be fair, that's that's that that oh, works because okay. they're trying to like digitally yeah. edit some of that in. That's the only like that's the only acceptable time for like, shaky cam. Yeah, 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 but yeah, okay. Phoenix, are we ready? Final rating. Easy John five Wick. stars. Easy, easy, easy five stars. I don't <laughs> care. The full hand, five stars, baby. <laughs> I'm right. I'm right underneath. No, 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 no. Going to four and a half. No, 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 no. You can't do that, Phoenix. It's it's, it's solid. Don't get me wrong. Know. It's perfectly you didn't, you solid. Didn't give it like a three star, so we good. Right. <laughs> I was afraid. To hear. <laughs> I am afraid. Dude, I saw some like. There's always that one person on your letterbox, like where everybody gives something like four and a half or five stars. There's always that one person who gives it like two stars. Right. I have somebody. I have somebody like that on my letterbox. I'm like, there's always that one person. Would have been hilarious if I talked about it this whole time. Like, like, oh, it was so awesome. Yeah, it's great. It's like final rating three stars. <laughs> like what? <laughs> you have done that before. I have four and a half. Before. That's that's basically a ninety. I'll I'll allow it. <laughs> yeah. Right. So. Four and a half for me, five stars for these two guys. What did you guys think of John Wick Chapter 4? Let us know on Twitter and Instagram at Film Code Pod. And we are going to move on now to what's good. What's good, what's good, what's good. Miranda. <laughs> yes, sir. Because um, I'm sure what has been good for you this week? I have re- I went ahead and rewatched uh, Tron Legacy. It has been thirteen years because I saw that in theaters and I never rewatched wow. it. Um, that film was great. Um, something that I love personally about it is just that was one of the first films they ever attempted the de aging technology on uh, on Jeff Bridges, mm. and like that was the prototype. And so something that I really love about it is just the film itself. It's visually beautiful. Daft Punk comes in and gives a killer soundtrack. Yeah. And just, I think the story is good. Um, 
I'm excited for the spinoff that they're doing with uh, with Jared Leto. Like I could I could do without Jared Leto, but I mean Ooh. I'm glad they're doing it. <laughs> and then for I mean just the film itself though, I, this is just all speculation. But I hear Disney has a completed version of a 4K UHD version where they touched everything up and they even fixed Jeff Bridges' de aging, which oh. would be fantastic. Oh, that's it. Okay. So yeah, no Tron Legacy for me. Um, I ended up. I I don't remember. I, I I never did star ratings when I was a kid because Letterbox was non-existent. But for me right now, Tron Legacy is out of four stars. Oh wow! All right, Jamie. What about you? What do you? What do you? What did you see? What's good for you? Uh, I gotta go with uh, my other five star rating this year so far with uh, with Creed three. Uh. Oh, yeah. I, Another great action movie. Um, Michael B. Jordan kills his directorial debut. Um, there's this one fight scene at the end where it's just them two, him and Jonathan Majors. Absolutely insane. I mean, that's like another peak action scene right there. Um, it the the fact that it's the first Rocky movie without Rocky, and it was still killer. It's still, it's still a solid film. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend Creed Three. Another five star for me. Nice. All right. Uh, for me, I'm gonna recommend the uh, movie that I saw before John Wick Four because uh, <laughs> it was a uh, it was the only chance I could see. Oh it, my god, I, dude! I, I can't believe it. you decided to see that and risk your chance <laughs> of seeing John Wick Four this weekend. <laughs> but I went and saw Chevalier, uh, the new film starring Kelvin Harrison Jr about uh joseph bologna i think that's how you say his name uh world famous composer uh french composer at the time he was a uh, mixed race man uh he achieved a lot of accomplishments during his life and it, it spoke and it was about his uh his revolutionary battle against the french uh during the uh french revolution with a violin so, uh, right yeah he was a he was a violin player he was also a, a fencer he was also a writer uh, multi-talented uh, person. Uh, Kelvin Harrison is amazing. He plays the role so well. Samara Weaving is also in it, which you know, yeah, <laughs> like Samara Weaving's awesome. Um, <laughs> so it was it was a great film. Obviously, not nearly as good as John Wick Chapter Four, but it was really really fun. Um, I liked the story. I think it could have done a few things better, but overall, I thought it was. I thought it was a very entertaining movie. So if you get a chance, check out Chevalier. Um, really good, really good score. Like so far is my front runner for best score of the year, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, but you have Chevalier for me, Tron Legacy for Brandon and Creed 3 for Jeremy. Check those out. Let us know what you guys think. Once again, Film Code Pod on Twitter and Instagram and let us know what you guys saw. Um, all right. Uh, let we're gonna get up out of here then. <laughs> right. Sounds good, uh, Jeremy. Let everybody know where they can find you, sir. Uh, so my Instagram is uh Jeremy Valor three seventeen, and my Twitter is uh, at Valor Jeremy. Um, but yeah, that's where you can find me. <laughs> All right, Brandon, sir. Where can everybody find you? You guys can find me at F A N T A S M I C ears over on Letterboxd. Go check out what I'm watching, and thank you guys again for listening. And you guys can find me on Twitter at I'm HO Reviews one That's the number one. And on Letterboxd under P.A. Cloudin. And as always, guys, like I said, please follow the show on Twitter and Instagram at Film Code Pod. And we will see you guys next week. Jeremy, thanks again for coming on, man. We appreciate having you. Uh, hope, you. We get to, hope we get to have you on again. Uh, and we're out of here. All right. Peace. <laughs>